if anyone was going to do it, it was going to be you. Uh, Jason Fox, a.k.a. Foxy, joins us now. Morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Right. Yeah, you do thanks. love a hot chocolate, don't you? I do love a hot chocolate, yeah. yeah. Very much so. I, I, I was just saying, when I did that, I did this sort of four runners of the SS show, like, ages, one of the first things I ever did. And, like, and you meet these guys in the yeah. regiment, and then you get into camp and they're like, do you want a little Milo? And Milo's like a Far East oval team, basically, isn't it? Ooh, it's amazing. Yum. Just live off it. <laughs> so like before you know it, you'd be like round just basically just yeah, having Hollicks. That's not loads. what I imagined this to <laughs> no, be. <exactly. laughs> marshmallows? No marshmallows? <laughs> good to have you with us, Fox. Really too. good to have you with us. Now, you are a hard taskmaster. We saw that clip there, and I just, it's one thing when I watch SAS, I just, I just don't think I have it in me to be grilled in that way. <laughs> I just don't think I do. What was it like training Matt Hancock? Uh, training him? Um, I mean, when you ask... When we asked him and all the others to do something, he does put 110% of his effort in. And we, we sort of take everyone at face value as they come to us. They're like a blank canvas. So we don't... We, don't, we, we won't be, like, putting any prejudgment on them yeah. prior to whatever. We can't... No, no, no. Contrary to belief, but... <laughs> He put 110% effort in, but he never really allowed his barrier to come down. You, you didn't really know who he was, mm -hmm. and I think because of that, we just we went through the course and we just didn't trust him. We didn't know whether we could trust him because we didn't know the real him. Even in those like really sort of intense like grilling scenarios, the the barrier didn't it was, drop. There was still an air of. I think we would perceive it as maybe a little bit of arrogance, but it just never came down, you know. Wow, and the opportunity was given a lot, because it's, it's like about 10 days. Yeah. Do you think that's because the, the, the amount of public scrutiny he's faced and the pressure that he's, he's been under? He's, do you think he's just... Not, not conjured, but do you think he's, he's, he's just come to terms with a reality that now he's just... He, he just doesn't know how to get past it. He just projects, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm. Just yeah, tell you... I think it's, sort of, it's like a... Yeah, I think he's probably been battered a fair bit and there's a there's a barrier that's almost you can't remove it. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 permanent maybe. It must be hard for you, because in one respect, you know, you've got a bit of public expectation about having this yeah. guy on the show and you want to give everyone a free run, but also it's not an easy show to go on, the SAS show. It's a tough one, and you've got to strip these people back. But in another respect, you know, you are a huge advocate of mental health, so you've, you've got to have both of those things in mind, I suppose. Yeah, it's a, it, there's a fine line between the two. And, you know, we, we, people come on that show and we apply a lot of pressure in lots of different ways. We might, we might call people names, we might, you know, beast them physically, yeah. but... The but reason... To be fair, they know what they're expecting. Yeah, and the reason we do it is because we have to put people under that pressure to see how they react, to see how we can then, you know, mentor them through getting past their barriers or, or you know, fronting up their demon. Mm. So you, you need to be hard to be kind in a yeah. weird, weird sort of way. Yeah. But I imagine tough to be so neutral. It is Because like oh, you say, yeah. and somebody so, you know, somebody like Matt Hancock, you know, there was a lot of responsibility on his shoulders over the pandemic. Everybody's got their opinions on it. It must be very hard to let some of those go, as neutral as you try to be. Yeah, it is. I mean, we, we, never, we never directed any of those questions. We, allowed, we always allow the individual, whoever's sat in front of us, to lead the conversation. And if they want to go down a certain route, then we will go down that route and... With, with Matt, he, he wanted to go down the route with the pandemic. So we're like, fine, you want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, warts and all. All right, let's talk about... Uh, let's talk about the stage show. So yeah. Jason's Life at the Limit, UK tour starts in January 2024. Uh, so tickets on sale, that's why you're here to chat about it. What was... Where do you start with this? Because, obviously, being in the regiment, there's only so much you can talk about, yeah. and but you've got a very interesting life. So... You know, and there's a lot I imagine you can omit. So where do you start hmm. with putting a, a live show together about about your life? Um, it petrified me. <laughs> <laughs> the thought. I knew we could be scared of something. Yeah, <laughs> the thought of going on stage in front of people and talking about me, I was like, "There's no way." But then I realised that I always tell people to step outside their comfort zone, and I was like, "Well, maybe I should, maybe I should step outside my comfort zone." So embraced it. And I actually loved it, yeah. I like wow. it. It's, I mean, I'm still petrified. Yeah. I still get nervous, but I enjoy going out there. And, and the, it is about... It's me stood up bringing to life stories that 
about me, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. what, what I've gone through the journey, but the backbone of the show is my journey with mental health, mm -hmm. what happened before, what it was like in it emotionally, and then how I bounced back from that and, and why I'm stood up in front of them there and then. What did get you out of the darkest? Because it was very dark, wasn't it? It was dark, yeah. I mean, the turning point for me was contemplating suicide. I was, you know, I drove up to a car park, I stood on top of a cliff having, a, having an absolute nightmare. And it was at that point that I decided I needed to be honest with myself. I hadn't been honest with myself up to that point. And so people think that there's some really intricate reason you know, complex reason of how I got myself out of it, but ultimately it was just about being honest with myself and yeah. admitting that there was something that needed addressing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then obviously after that, the hard work had to kick in because it, it wasn't like I was suddenly honest and thought to myself, oh, I've got an issue. There, there, there's a bit of graft that comes after that. And I guess you must really get a lot out of talking about it now and helping other people. Yeah, I mean... I made a conscious decision at some point, it was actually on the first season of SAS, to, to talk about what happened. And I was petrified about how that would be received. I genuinely was. I was not a nice person to be around the day that that episode went out. And then it went out and the, the feedback shocked me, as mm -hmm. in the po the, it was positive. And I was yeah. like, wow, OK, this uh. is actually a good thing. And so that's why I then started this whole you know, wanting to be a part of that conversation about yeah. talking all about how good it is to talk. Mm -hmm. Well, you're doing it well. Listen, before we let you go, uh, just any words of advice for, for Marv and for Joyce out there? <laughs> so the, the jungle, the, you're never going to fight the jungle. There's no point. So they've got to embrace it. Embrace you've the got jungle. To, you've, yeah. got, you've got to become at one with the jungle. Yes. Yeah. Last night there was a shot of Marv. He had bites all over. He's at one with the jungle now. I think. <laughs> yeah. Just sort like of holding love that. a bite on his bald head. <laughs> Jay, thanks so much. Like I said, Jason's Life at the Limit Thank Tour. You. UK Tour thanks. starts in January 2024. Uh, tickets are on sale now. Thanks, man.